guys and welcome back to my channel so today I have a sort of a mini skincare haul on just one single brand called Anatomicals the whole mantra is about keeping skincare very simple very no nonsense and giving you products that work and their really fun tagline is we only want you for your body so they're very cheeky like that I have been aware of them for quite a few years because ever since I started shopping on ASOS for clothes and that must be about like five five six years ago whenever i was on the website i used to see a lot of anatomicals products and the thing that attracted me to them and made me read about them was like they are really gorgeous packaging because as you can see it's very pop packaging it's like bright colors and like loud lettering so you can clearly see the stuff so it catches your eye and the names also they have are quite cheeky clever funny names I had never really bought anything from them before because they weren't available in India and I used to not really shop for international skincare from ASOS. Though their stuff is pretty much on the affordable side like by UK standards it's their drugstore products. For us it would be like a little more than drugstore products but still quite affordable. But recently they've just come to India like a couple of months ago I started seeing like posts and now they're available on Nykaa. So Nykaa is a really famous Indian beauty website and they have everything like makeup and skincare related so they regularly run sales but I get to know about their sales because I follow them on Instagram and uh, they always post the important news there so they had 10% off the entire anatomicals line one day a few weeks ago maybe that was the little motivation that I needed to finally get something from anatomicals so I'm quickly going to show you and talk you through what I bought so the first thing that I bought is a sheet mask and by now I think most of you must have seen my Sephora sheet mask review video where me and mom we sit and we give our first impressions and we show you how to use the Sephora sheet mask. So that was my first one ever. Haven't really used a sheet mask since. So I decided to buy this one. It's the Anatomicals Pose Pose Pose. For the close up pose, nothing beats rose. Botanical Hydrating Rose Face Mask. So basically the few lines at the bottom is the actual name of the product like botanical hydrating rose face mask but all this fun stuff on top is just something hilarious but something that's fun to read. At the back they have an illustration here of a girl like with her face inside the rose. Not gonna lie it's a little bit creepy but yeah they have some more instructions as well like on how to use it and you need to put it on for 20 minutes and stuff. So my face isn't really dry most of the time, in fact it's very oily but in winter sometimes it can get towards dry or if I'm like traveling and I'm staying in a hotel room that's like heavily air conditioned then my face gets dry and I thought I would try it sometime later. Then I bought four of these single use face masks and some are for me like one is for my mum because I thought it would suit her so first thing I bought is the anatomical Hawaii 5 glow tropical hydrating face mask this was especially a fun name because I watched Hawaii 5 o and you know as I'm talking about it like I can hear the Hawaii 5 o theme music in my head you know how it goes tropical hydrating probably means I'll give it to mum because another hydrating face mask I don't need but I just like the name and I thought I would buy her something and she can try it out because I like shopping for my mother. The next one is the Anatomicals look you've got chocolate all over your face anti-stress face mask. I haven't opened or tried any of these masks yet because they're just single use ones but looking forward to trying this one. The next one is grease is the word tell me more tell me more mattifying face mask. My face is greasy for most of summer most of the time so this seems perfect to keep it under control and that's pretty much why I picked it up. The next one I have is the Hotty Totty is never spotty anti blemish face mask especially when my skin gets hormonal uh, I do get like blemishes so I get one or two of them a month so I thought the next time my face goes crazy like that I can try the anti blemish face mask and see if it makes any difference and finally the very last thing that I bought I actually bought two of these here yeah, this is one open box is the anatomicals Puffy the eye bag slayer revitalizing eye mask get it like Buffy the vampire slayer except this one slays your eye bags so this is what the mask looks like it's a gel based mask this too I bought two because I bought one for my mom and I thought I would buy one for me as well she had a gel eye mask 
a long time ago and she said like it worked really nicely for her the good thing about this is that you can actually cool it by keeping it in the fridge but you should never keep it in the freezer it's mentioned on the box and you can also heat it up like i would never want to heat it up but maybe if you live in a cold country sometimes you need like to warm your eye area or something so you can heat it up and when you cool this you put it in the fridge and then you put it on it's just very very refreshing and it can like deep puff and relax your eyes it's got puffy the eye bag slay i mentioned here and you just kind of put it on like this i can't see a thing oh i can see but everything's like really red oh i can see my fingers i can't count my fingers as well not bad so it's not going to block out like 100% of light if you want to use it for that purpose it's going to block out most of the light and the gel is really cooling plus it's like very handy if you want to travel with it also you can just fold it the way they had and put it in your travel kit or something so now the only challenge for us is going to be to differentiate between both of our eye masks because they're both the same so i'm probably going to like mark a little bit on one of them with permanent marker so that we don't get confused this is fun to play with though <laughs> so that was it for my teeny tiny anatomical haul have you ever used anything from this brand and if so what was your experience i'd love to know like did you like it did you not like it because other than the eye mask which is pretty simple i haven't used any of the other products yet but i'm looking forward to it and i think you can look forward to reviews on snapchat whenever i use them i will post on snapchat my snapchat is magali vaz and guys i would love if you send me snaps as well like not creepy snaps please don't send me pictures of your junk but if you have cats please send me cat snaps cuz i love that or just selfies or whatever if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye